So, a quick introduction. I feel like that would be most appropriate for my first video. My name is Sean Cronin of Cronin Does CrossFit in Korea. Makes sense, right? So, I came to Korea as an ESL teacher from New York in November of 2013. I started doing CrossFit in, let's say, May of 2013. Before then, since I was around 19, I did some bodybuilding uh, and just variations on that for maybe the next six or seven years. But I started doing endurance running, tried vegetarianism, I tried a lot of the different diets. I'd say Michael Pollan is responsible more, more than anyone for changing my life when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I've been doing CrossFit since around May of 2013, so I'm coming up on my two year anniversary soon. Um, CrossFit changed my life, absolutely. I took a little bit of time off from it just so I could try and get stronger, right? Because when you weigh 165 pounds and you're around six foot one, you need to take some time. Not doing Metcons, just getting big and strong and heavy. Right now, I'm probably about 10% body fat, around 190 pounds, 188 in a good day, right? And it's just in time for the 2015 Open. I've done two of the Open workouts so far. In Asia, I've placed in the 80s. Not terrible, uh, not as well as I thought that I would do. Toes to bar really killed me, but I'm gonna try and hit it harder on the next one. So, as far as the introduction goes, what is this channel going to be? This channel is going to be you following me around as I try and get better at CrossFit, which is also just another way of saying better at being a human. Try and get stronger, better at gymnastics, and faster. Have better positioning, more flexible. The 10 core tenets of CrossFit. Strength, power, flexibility, stamina, accuracy, cardiovascular endurance, balance, coordination, agility, speed. I didn't do that from memory. It says that on that wall over there. That's why my eyes looked up. You gotta pay attention to that kind of stuff. Okay, I assume you're gonna be either an expat in Korea watching this, or maybe a Korean. In which case, I think your last name is either Kim, Park, or Lee. Is it? That's right, Kim Park Lee. I'm talking to you right now. And if you're an ESL teacher here, everyone's last name is Kim Parker Lee. Seriously, it's like 70% of the people here. Google it. So, that's what it's going to be. My journey getting better at CrossFit, me using my knowledge to help you get better at CrossFit, and if you're just an ESL teacher or a Korean and you wanna see the way that I view this country and a little hacks and tips that I have for making a life here, especially when it comes to the eating. If you're buying E-Mart or a Home Plus, I'm gonna show you some things. Also, Itaewon, you'll probably see a little bit of that too. But that's gonna to be it. I'm really looking forward to doing this and thank you for tuning in.